What's up guys, my name is Jess. We're gonna be focusing on all the bases that you potentially have. So anyways, the first one being the one, the, the land, patch of land, right in between Rain Syndicate Tower, the one with the Grizzbolt, the big yellow guy, and the Desolate Church, which has all the ores in the back. Now, this is one of the best locations to have ore and to have your own large, flat area to build your base. Now, this is actually the same base that I started with, and now I'm ending with. Not destroying at all. So, yeah, so behind the church is a nice ore patch. Um, I recommend putting your base in the, one of these locations, or rather this location specifically, because you have the syndicate tower to train, get a lot of XP off of. If you can beat it, um, with flying colors rather, you can easily farm experience. I mean, it's not the most out of all the towers, but it can certainly do a lot. And yeah, yeah, this is a bit of a spoiler, but, you know, I kind of one-shot it. I don't know how. I My guy's, like, maxed out. He's fully IV'd, so, I mean, there could be that reason. But anyways, number two, the Chillet base. This is where ancient civilization and ore is. Now, people need ancient civilization to unlock things and to make things. But this base location is very popular. Right from the left of the waypoint, right up on that hill, to the right of the bridge, is the ore spawn. Right behind it, right, right behind us, is where the river is. And to the left of the bridge is the Chillet, okay? Here's the kicker. Chillet, if you go this specific route or just follow the path upwards, you can find a chest right here. And this chest normally has mega spheres. Now, did it? I didn't pick it up this time, but uh, normally it has mega spheres. And lots of times there are the deers that spawn up here. They are rideable once you unlock it. And they are pretty key to uh, getting around town pretty fast. That or die hell, but anyways. This is the ore base. Now ore bases are highly sought after because they give you ingots. Now I believe, I'm not sure if I made a video on this already, but anyway, so this is actually a base that I used pre previously. You saw the material is still there. It's still there and I, this was 1500 days ago. So you have two egg spawns here, one directly under the bridge and one kind of hiding around the corner. You got to you, you gotta get around this this little ravine area, stay on top of the rocks, and to your left, yep, you're gonna watch me, I'm gonna hover left, and right underneath it is a an egg, okay? It can be a normal, it can be a dark, it can be a water, it can be a grass, it can be any sort of egg, believe it or not. So anyways, yeah. Um, we're gonna continue onwards to the next one. This is another early game base. This is for skill fruit and ores. This one has a lot of stuff. It's right to the west of small settlement. You want to get your butt over here and then fly upwards towards the bridge. Okay, you want to get to the bridge. And the reason why is because past the bridge, well, to the left, you have another chest over there hiding behind the trees. And to the right, you have a little cage for a free pal. And then you want to continue southwest towards this patch of land that has a lot of trees. Now, here's the kicker. This one has a chest. It has two eggs. I think three actually, and um, a lot of resources, a lot of resources to put a base, to farm out the ores until you can get your hands on the mining site, or mining site one or two. So yeah, lots of times there is a pal fragment spawn, I didn't drop that, okay, it's there, and then go between these two trees, and then look down, that's where you can find the stone in case you forgot your, you know, stone, you know. And boom, you just gotta climb up a bit, and then down below is a dungeon. You know, you can farm dungeons, you can farm stone, you can farm trees, you can farm a lot of stuff. There's an egg spawn right there, right here on that rock, right below us. I, it didn't load in until now. There's a lift monk, so capture that, pick that guy up, okay? And then we're gonna look up, yeah, right there is the dungeon. So you have two dungeon spawns. You have two egg spawns, I'm gonna show you later. You have stone, you have trees, you got a lot of stuff, and then you're gonna loop around for all these trees and you're gonna find yourself a black marketer. Black marketers are key for not only being able to find pals that you can't normally find. Well, actually, you can find all the pals regardless. It's just that these, the, heat, the black marketers kind of have contraband in pals. You know, pals that you either butchered in the past or or pals that you've never seen before if you're early game. Okay, see, so there's the, the other chest, and here's the other egg. Now, we're not done yet. This base has a lot of stuff. You want to come head up to that point over there, okay? Follow this brown path all the way up to the first ledge. This is the first ledge. Right there, boom. We got two pals spawning, and we got the Liaz Punk and the Incinerum. Liaz Punk is great for dark, and Incinerum is also dark. 
and fire. He is an amazing combat pal, and lots of people end up loving him because you get raided by them. Him and the Liaz Punk. You really do. It's kind of annoying too. And the wreckages don't sleep on them. They give you a lot of junk, which is actually pretty good junk. And then you go up top, and you have yourselves a skill for a tree. Okay, these reset every day. Okay, every day. Okay, here we go. Next one. Pen King Base. Now, this one is a, what a lot of people end up using for raids. Okay. Um, you see how, how big this place is. It's massive. Massive. You can fit like three bases here. So, it can be a base for anything, really. It has trees as a natural resource. Down by the river, it has paladin fragments or the, the, the rocks. It has two record spawns, so you can get some junk, good junk stuff out of here. If you'd like, you got some stone. And there's a lot of pals that spawn around here as well. So, I mean, Pen King gives you ice organs, money with the, the, the plumes, the, I don't know, they're like the precious whatever things. And the thing here is, if you're going to come in here, you got to be careful. Because these pals, the Pen Gullets, look at how much I'm being bombarded. Luckily, I have all this armor and a shield, right? So anyways, we're going to the next base location. This one is the one that I have a cake base for. Uh, link in the description and or on the video um, It can be for anything, but there's other resources. There's other reasons. Okay down here da, 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 da. Yep to the left we have a chest, but I already took that so there's that and then inside We have a skill fruit tree and then follow it follow it follow it to the middle island boom lift monk behind us boom egg behind that egg well kind of to the left is a dungeon and then go up to the tippy -tip top of this little island there's another chest that spawns here so you have a lot of natural resources stone trees a lot of pals food okay and then you got a cage for another free pal that spawns here and there now if you don't want to have this base here it's okay just help it to the marsh and get your skill food there now we're gonna get into the middle mid game era okay so we're gonna be looking at some coal and ores for now now where all the stone paths are this is where the coal would spawn but since i built on top of it you can't really see it but anyways you see it here that i'm building a lot of pillars that's the support there's you can see a lot of that okay but yeah so i have progressed so far into the game where i don't need the coal because I, I, I use the coal to itself to mine to make the coal mining sites okay so now we're gonna get to another area this is south uh sorry northeast of the valet base this is an unraidable mountain that has coal and ore. This is huge. You, you, you're you gonna see the coal. Yep, boom, there's the coal, and on the other side is the ore. Now, people have different builds for this location. Um, it's really up to you how you wanna do it, but you have to use a flying mount or a froggy or like drop your, sanit your stamina all the way down to like 0.1 for the drain or whatever. And you know, I, I did build here. I, used, I had a base here pri previously. It's in my 200, pow 200 base power world video, which I have to yet finish uploading now we're gonna go to the next one that's kind of in the same uh region head eastwards right by Veradesh. yep it's south of Veradesh, right by that weird watery river thing now you're gonna see yep this is what it used to look like i had some ore mining site number twos underneath this top floor right there boom two of them okay we're getting a little stuck here but you know, this base was booming. It was huge. It took a lot of time to make, too. You see these slanted stuff? Ah, oh, I wish I... It's somewhere in my footage. I don't know. But, yeah, right here is the coal. Right in the front front, that's the coal. We're gonna flash back to the, uh... Destroyed part. Well, kind of empty part. And... Well, we're not there yet. Now we are. No, we're not. We're still looking at the base. But anyways. Um... Yeah, it, it, it's a phenomenal base. It's a phenomenal location. Yep, right right there by the, by the apes, those are the coal. And if when you wrap around directly behind this base is the ore. Now, you see I have a lot of ore in, in here already. You know, you don't have access to the ore rocks in this specific location, but behind this base, like, still a part of the island, or the mountain rather, is... Uh, or which you're gonna see soon, but I made a little side lounge here that I wanted to showcase and you know, like imaginary friends or whatever that you can have um, And I had a pal box right here smack dab in the middle But wrap around right here. Yep right here following the water is the ores You got a lot of rocks a lot of iron right here trees iron stone coal Can't ask for anything more and then following down the down the mountain you have access to the skill fruit tree Right, and right next to the skill fruit tree are a lot of fire pals that are otherwise 
a pain to get elsewhere because the other location to find these are in the volcanic region. Those guys are like level 30. These guys are kind of lower. So yeah, keep that in mind. Now this is the mountain floppy summit, whatever thing. I do not recommend making a base here. People would put it right there on that ledge by the trees, but it's not worth it anymore because of the mining sites, the ore mining sites that are available now through the ancient technology tree that you can only get those books from uh, killing the alphas once the first time and dungeons. So anyways, here's another base location. This is the skill fruit location, which I also do not recommend because we have the mining site, but yeah, this is, I just wanted to showcase it in case you wanted to free mine. Free mine means that you just go to a location just to mine it. But yeah, you if you can fend off the pals, go for it. They're strong, they're annoying, the bees just kamikaze themselves, and it's really obnoxious. Now this one is actually a notable one that a lot of people end up using occasionally. This one has a lot of Cinemoth, Robin Quill, Bristalia, all the grass pals in the middle region, which I personally love a lot. And Gale Claws. I don't like this screech though, it's kind of annoying. But anyways, this is the location. You got access to one coal, a bunch of stone, and a lot of ore. Okay? You got a lot of trees too. Okay? Uh, there's an egg spun over in the distance following the water, so don't don't ride it on that. Okay? Here's the dungeon, right? Just parallel to the, uh, the, the, the ore spot. Okay? And the Gale Claws are good for food. Uh, recovery and whatnot, Bristalia right there, Robin Crew right there, we're getting bombarded, whatnot. Cinemoth are good for farming honey the fast way and not having to wait for it through the grazing, right? There's the egg right below the waypoint, and now we're going on to solo coal. Solo coal, okay? We're, if, if, we're hovering Anubis, the desert Anubis. Now we're gonna go to the LOL statues over there, you kind of see, see it, maybe, maybe not. Um, but this is it right here, and with that LOL part, the first L was Anubis, the statue. Now, this is Anubis. Right to our right is Anubis. To our left is the coal. We got six rocks, or seven rocks, I think. I don't recommend putting the base there, though. You should free mine it, because those guys, they're tough, and they they migrate over there. They, they, they migrate over there, right? Now, in the description, we got the pallet disassembly line. I recommend clicking on it if you are interested in what it is. It's endgame though. So going back to the statue, up at the tippy top are the ears. You got the egg on top. And then directly behind the statue right here is seven rocks. Okay, do not make the base here. Big no-no. Got it? Big no-no. Okay, it is used for free farming because putting a base here is ridiculous. It, 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 you're not going to be able to put it anywhere. Literally. I mean, you can, but it's just not worth a base slot. This is the skyline area, okay? You have access to coal on one side, and then it's a flat area next to the coal, and then there's a gap, and then there's another island. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to build it. First, you got to collect your materials, all right? You got access to the dig toys, so keep in mind of that. If you don't have one, get them. Next, got some materials. I only used up about maybe 300 stone to make this whole thing, so what you're going to do is you're going to... It's gonna go quick, okay? It's gonna be like maybe a minute long, so if you don't wanna watch this part, just skip a minute, okay? So make it flat, a little bit above the ground, and then make ceilings where you can't make the uh, the floors with the foundation. Okay, here we go, ceiling right here. Oh, sorry, floor right here, connecting to the uh, ground, okay? As long as it connects to the ground, you're good. We're going by fast. Here we go, ceiling right here, boom, ceiling right here, because there's no foundation underneath us. Ceiling right here, and then, oh! We can't put a ceiling, but we can put a floor. Now we're going to add some stairs so that we have access with the skyline, right? Pals can go from one part of the base to the other part of the base without having to uh, worry about this whole gap thing. Now this is where it gets tricky. You got to use some sort of foundation so that it connects into the ground. We call it a ground connector. Okay, if the pillar can go above the floor, then it can go below. And you want to connect it into the ground. You see this little blue? Got to put it in. Boom. It's in. Okay, good. Gonna do it everywhere else. Now, if it doesn't connect into the ground, you're gonna see an example right here. If it doesn't connect into the ground, it's not gonna work. You can see that I'm. it looks like it is, but do you see that blue? Do you see that blue? Mmm, there it is, but watch me destroy it. It's not gonna connect, even though it looks like it connects. You gotta be precise, and you gotta be sure. See? It's not connected, but now it is. Here we go. Take a gander. And voila! 
it worked. Anyways, this part's unlucky because we're kind of in the ground and we don't have a foundation underneath us, so we're just gonna slim it down a bit. Finish it up, and we're gonna see the base line of the skyline, okay? Boom bidi boom boom, beautiful, right? Um, so yeah, that's how you build the skyline. I think I'll include it, uh, footage of me doing it on a different uh, world, rather. Now we're gonna go to Skill Fruit Mount Obsidian, right? Teleport the waypoint, and you have access to a one ore rock. You got two sulfur rocks. You got a Skill Fruit with end game material of Skill Fruits. We got an egg on the tail. We got a lift monk in the corner on the right. No, your right's and left. Okay. A sulfur rock right in the water. There's gonna be another sulfur rock following the water as well, just right behind that tiny rock. Yep. Boom. Now to the right of us, we have a more trees and coal. This is a great location for just everything overall. Um, apparently, people have been able to put two bases here, which is you know, bravo. They're able to. It, I don't know why they do that. It, it was on Reddit, but um, yeah. So this is another location for sulfur. It's not efficient to uh, rely on having a base str strictly for this location because it. it it's only a matter of time until you actually get into the end game where you can ma access the sulfur mining, right? You got ten rocks there. Just put on an astagon or Anubis or a dig toys or whatever, and just go mining away. Now we're gonna get into the pure quartz. This is where uh, you need uh, pure quartz for like circuit boards and whatnot. Now this is the base for it. This is one of the three recommended bases. I actually only recommend putting your base at this specific location. There are supposed to be more quartz rocks, but because I placed all that foundation down, I don't need them anymore, right? Um, but in the beginning, you will need a lot of them, okay? We're talking lots, okay? I have... I, I, I have way more than what you're seeing right now. We're, we're gonna witness it very soon. Put some Dumuds in this base so you can make polymer. Okay, they poop out HQ PAL oil. Uh, nice passive amounts of that. And you're gonna use the polymer plus the pure quartz and then you're gonna get circuit boards now you see that these guys are transporting the do uh the do mud uh goop so to speak and boom fifty-seven thousand pure quartz you know i haven't visited this base much so there could be a lot of afkness of these guys so anyways we're gonna be heading over to the 209 578 area i don't think this was a skill fruit location this is the one in the west wait what does that say negative 209 and 574 or 548, I don't know. Yeah, 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 that's it. Um, I hovered, I, I briefly hovered on the wrong spot, but this is the right spot with the right um, coordinates. Anyways, yeah, so these guys are tight-knit. They're next to each other. Watch this. I'm going to use a grenade launcher, and it's going to hit all three of them. Okay, that's a splash radius. Same splash radius as a dig toys AOE mining simulator thingy. And then this one is the skill fruit location. I do not recommend putting a base here. I don't recommend putting a base in any of these two previous locations for the pure quartz um this one is on a slope you have access to trees which is good i think there's a stone around here too but you have a lot of pure quartz but the thing is uh, it, it it it's sloped it's a pain to build on but you do have access to a skill fruit tree and you can make this afk kind of and then you have access to a dungeon so this is a great location for just like free mining um, but yeah, so now we're getting into the crude oil section. This is like end game of the end game, okay? This specific location has access to three mining refineries, oil refineries, okay? So this is like a necessity. Everyone's doing this, okay? It's not the thing where, oh, if someone jumps off of something, then you get to jump up. No, this is just for maximum efficiency. You're going, you're going to this location. Now, uh, somewhere in the middle, there's like a there's like a piece of wood or a, a big stone thing in the middle. You want to put your base, your pal box on top of that, like how I did in a pyramid formation. And um, yeah, it, it's a nice place. Now we're getting into the next locations. This one's in the end game territory, official end game territory. This is known as Sakurajima, um, the mushroom land sort of thing. Now lots of these bots have two oil spots so you see here it has two oil spots literally if i didn't have my walls here it would look a lot smaller but um yeah here's another video all the noises are um just links to my previous other videos that showcase uh the bases more in depth but yeah this is a very common location people end up coming here like literally i, I i'm guarantee you everyone who's like endgame has a base here 
Um, but yeah, these guys drop mushrooms. If you got here from the early game, from adventuring, by all means, get those mushrooms. Good sustenance. Okay, so here's another location. This one's my newer location. It's right next to a skill fruit tree, and right next, not right next to, but it's pretty much close by. Um, and you have access to two oils as well. Lots of the dirt patches on the mini on the world map that you find will have these crude oils. But I mean, if you're end game or if you're looking for crude oil, then you kind of already know that. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna take a gander at the bigger portion of the map. I've actually been talking for quite a long time. I'm surprised. Um, but yeah, we are hitting a lot of lag. I I lag a lot. Um, but yeah, so this is the base. Um, you know. Nothing too special. Some things to know is um, that there are a lot of high level palace, and below us is actually a dungeon. Okay, and also in the previous base, previous Sakurajima base that I just had, there was a dungeon behind it as well. But, anyways, yeah, so that's all. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.